Salt River Outfitters, uh, which is run by George Cummings, they're tied into the uh, WTA group for booking hunts and all the guides here. These guys understand what they're doing here. They understand the patterns. They work really, really hard at it in the off season to get everything ready. They really understand winds and thermals and how that impacts their different areas that they're hunting. And when you hunt here, I mean, their velvet hunt is, you know, you're pretty much not gonna be a guy that gets in on this opening weekend because there's so many people coming back and to this hunt. It's like a family reunion when you come here opening weekend. You know, we started out with one farm, 1,200 acres, which is actually, this is the farm we started out with. Now we're at about 20,000 acres in eight different counties. So we, we've grown a lot, uh, grown our family. You know, that's what I tell everybody. This, this family reunion, this is, that's this week. You know, I, I look all year to this, this one particular week because it's the most fun, out of, you know, the whole season. So. This part of Kentucky produces deer all year long, um, you know, because we developed such a great relationship with George and his guys, I, I follow a lot of them on Facebook. George and I text a lot. We talk a little bit about deer strategy. He's become enamored hunting in Texas like I've become enamored hunting over here in Kentucky. And, you know, I mean, they're, they're taking deer with bows and rifles and muzzle loaders all year long in these Kentucky hills. And it's a testament to the conditions in this part of the world, the quality of the deer, but also to the hard work and the ability for their team to stay on top of the deer. The thing that I think makes this part of the world so special is that we have such a diverse habitat. We've got a lot of woods, a lot of crops, you know, we got a lot of these rolling hills that Honestly, the deer like to stay down in these low spots in the early early summer months, which that wind just sits in there and swirls. So I think that's why we have so many big deer. Even though we have the, the habitat, they can be hard to kill in this early season because when it's hot and those deer like to stay down in those low spots, you know, it just sits down in there and swirls. Uh, so it's just a, it's a very diverse landscape we have. You know, we have hills, we have the river bottoms, but then you can leave the same farm, drive a mile up the road, and you've got these rolling hills and oak trees. I mean, think about all the oak trees back there. I mean, everything's oaks, so the deer love the oaks. Um, a lot of clover. You know, you driving around in our pasture fields, you'll see a lot of native clover. So we, we've just got great habitat all the way around. We've got food, we've got bedding, you know, we've got travel corridors where these deer can kind of sneak around, make them a little bit harder to kill. That's why we got so many big ones.